Hello, students. Good morning. Today, in, in this session, we are going to discuss the chapter called Phenol. Okay. So, without any delay, let's start the session today. Okay. So, all of us know the formula or the structure of phenol. Okay. Which is nothing but we have a benzene ring. And on this ring, we'll have one hydroxy group present, OH. Right? This is phenol. This particular molecule, we call it as phenol. Okay? Similarly, like this, there are other molecules also, where form which formula we should know. Right? Because sometimes, formula-based question also J.E. asked. Like, if I tell you, once they have asked about how many lone pairs are present in a structure called melamine okay so when they give you the name of the structure right without knowing the when 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 they give you the name of the molecule so without knowing the structure of that molecule you cannot find out how many lone pairs are present in that okay so that is why for few molecules the you know the structure is important okay and uh, for melamine that is given in po polymer chapter okay so as soon as we'll cover the various chapters we'll discuss all those you know different molecules whose structure we should know right so like i have given you the structure of phenol similarly if i have oh two oh group present on the benzene ring at different different positions suppose we have oh here and oh here this is one structure the another structure is this one oh on the top and then oh on the bottom okay another structure is this oh here and oh at ortho position next structure we have this one when three oh group is present on the benzene ring okay oh and oh okay the name of this structure when oh is present at the meta position we call it as resorcinol. Resorcinol. This one is hydroquinol. Okay, when you have double bond O here and double bond O here, it is hydroquinone. N O N E in that case. Okay. Now, when OH present or this ortho position, we call it as catechol. Catechol. And this one is pyrogallon okay so these are the few structures whose name are important whose name is important in this chapter you must know the structure of all these molecules okay now the next thing is few properties of phenol we'll see first okay so basically in all the organic chapters if you see we have chemical physical properties and the preparation method okay so chemical physical properties again we have physical properties like we have color density and all um, melting point boiling point solubility all these things we have and the chemical reaction again involves chemical reactions only so mainly chemical reactions and uh, uh, preparation methods are important however in this chapter the preparation method of phenol is not that much important it's very two three four methods we have that we'll see and it's, it's a direct reaction but the chemical reaction of phenol is important. There are a few name reactions given in this chapter that we should uh, but definitely know, right? So the, the first, the free, uh, few properties of this molecule you see, phenols, like I said, it is a crystalline solid which is colorless in nature, right? Which is colorless actually. So we'll write down, it is colorless, colorless, crystalline solid a 
okay it is colorless crystalline solid solid it is soluble in water soluble in water why due to hydrogen bonding it shows hydrogen bonding with water and hence it is soluble the boiling point of phenol is much higher of phenol is much higher then the corresponding then the corresponding aromatic hydrocarbon hydrocarbon and halvarenes corresponding means what the boil the molecular mass must be comparable okay then only we can do the comparison okay now the next thing is what does this phenol shows acidic behavior also shows acidic properties shows acidic properties okay acidic property means what the tendency to release h plus ion okay now you see if the molecule or the phenol structure if i draw here it is this and when it releases h plus ion it forms o minus and h plus this ion we call it as phenoxide ion okay o minus on the top this one we call it as phenoxide ion which is the conjugate base of phenol okay phenoxide ion is what phenoxide ion is the conjugate base okay so we know if the conjugate base is stable right the tendency for this molecule for this reaction to go in forward direction will be more right if it is a stable then only this has tendency to convert into this particular ion okay and when the reaction goes in forward direction more amount of h plus will get and hence more will be the acidic nature right this phenoxide ion however is resonance stabilized okay phenoxide ion is what phenoxide ion is ion is resonance stabilized now since it is stable through resonance hence the phenol has tendency to convert into this and shows acidic behavior right so this is the important part we have okay however if i see um, phenols are weak acids okay these phenols are weak acids so these are not a strong acid but yes they have acidic behavior tendency to lose h plus i okay now you see this oh group or if i this my negative charge if i consider when you draw the resonating structure you'll get negative sign at ortho and para position okay so if i take this uh, phenoxide ion you see um this is the phenoxide ion suppose we have o negative when we draw the resonating structure what we get you see this negative charge comes over here and this pi electron comes over here 
right? So we get this. And double bond O. Okay. Now, again, if you draw the resonating structure of this, then what happens? This negative charge comes over here, and this pi electron comes over here. So the structure will be this. Double bond, double bond, negative charge, double bond. Further, we can draw the resonating structure of this. OK, and we'll get a negative charge here then, and then again on the uh, oxygen. I'll draw all the structures here. This is the five resonating structure possible. OK, five resonating structures possible. Right. This is the resonating structure we have. OK, now in this molecule, what we see the negative charge we are getting at ortho and para position and hence this group which is OH present on the ring we call it as ortho para directing group ortho para directing group this is one thing okay now any group present at ortho or para position or even at meta position that affects the astic behavior of phenol okay that affects the acidic behavior of phenol. Okay. The basic thing is what? More stable phenoxide ion, more will be the acidity of phenols. Right. Any group present at this position, this position, and this position affects the acidity of phenol. Because this group, these groups, affects the stability of phenoxide ion. Okay. So, what we can write in the next step that uh, the acidity of phenols. acidity of phenols is directly proportional to the stability of of phenoxide ion stability of phenoxide ion okay more stable phenoxide ion more will be the acidity of phenols okay now you see the phenoxide ion is this. O minus. Okay. And if any group attached at ortho or para position, this group, this affects the stability of phenoxide ion. How the stability of phenoxide ion decreases? If we decrease the electron density here. Right means G. This group should be electron withdrawing group. Okay, so electron withdrawing group increases the stability of phenoxide ion, and hence the acidity of phenol. Okay, so in the next line, what we can write if this G is electron withdrawing group. electron withdrawing group which in short we write it as e w g electron withdrawing group hence the stability of phenoxide ion increases and hence the acidity of 
phenols increases acidity of phenol increases so and the next thing is what if g is electron releasing group electron electron releasing group which is erg then what happens stability of of phenoxide ion decreases it means the acidity of phenol decreases right so basically one thing you have to keep in mind and what is that that acidity of phenol is directly proportional to electron withdrawing group and inversely proportional to electron releasing group this is the basic thing we have okay the acidity of phenols is very important for exam point of view also whether you are going to write j e exam or board exam or any other exam okay even in board exam also they ask this orders okay right second thing is what if the number of withdrawing group is more then more will be the acidity of phenol okay more number of electron withdrawing group more acidity more number of electron releasing group less acidity for example we'll see some uh, examples on this which is uh, this one suppose we need to compare the acidity of acidity of given molecules given molecules okay first question is this next question is this try these questions you need to assign the order of acidity this example is also very important
okay now we'll do this one by one so um, first of all what we need to do you see NO2 group you should know this an O2 group is electron releasing, sorry, withdrawing group. Electron withdrawing group. Okay. How do we know that electron withdrawing group? The condition for electron withdrawing group we have is between the first and second atom, we must have unsaturation. We can have double bond, we can have triple bond also. Condition is what? The electronegativity of Y must be greater than the electronegativity of X. This is the condition. If you have unsaturation present between the first and second atom, provided, uh, like providing this electronegativity of uh, second atom is more than to that of X, this condition, then it shows electro electron withdrawing nature. Okay. Electron releasing nature is what? ERG. On the first atom, we must have uh, atom, we must have at least one lone pair. Right? At least one lone pair present. Like, for example, for example, if you write here, OCH3 is electron releasing group, OH, electron releasing group, okay? Then what we have? NH2, electron releasing group, derivative of amines. All these are electron releasing group because you see oxygen has two lone pair here, two lone pair here, and one lone pair on nitrogen. Electron withdrawing group, the example is what? Cyanide group, C triple bond N, aldehyde, C double bond O, H, right? C O O R, that is also an electron withdrawing group because between first and second atom, we have unsaturation present and second atom is more electronegative than the third atom, okay? So you see here, all these are electron withdrawing group, NO2, NO2, NO2. More electron withdrawing group, what means what? More stability of phenoxide ion and hence more will be the acidity. The acidic order of this molecule will be, will be, this is the first most acidic, second, third and fourth. Why? Because three NO2 group, two, one, zero, right? Acidity order will be this. In the second one, and there is only one NO2 group present, okay, and the position of NO2 group is different, okay. So at ortho position we know we have minus R effect possible. At meta position we have only minus I possible. At para we have minus R possible. Here we have no effect. All these minus effect obviously they stabilize the phenoxide ion. So this one is obviously the least acidic. Okay. So the fourth one is, this one is the least acidic. So number is, rank is four. Okay. Now minus I and minus R, obviously minus R will stabilize more the phenoxide ion in comparison to minus I. Okay. So this minus I will show the less acidic, will be the less acidic than these two molecules because minus R and minus R we have here. So this one is obviously third then. Fourth, third, okay? In this two, we have minus R effect, first and third. We have minus R effect, and minus R does not depend upon distant, distance, okay? It only, uh, uh, the only thing is required is conjugation, okay? Minus R, minus R, we cannot compare with minus R here. Then we consider the next effect, which is minus I. And here also we have minus i okay now the minus i effect however minus r dominates minus i always okay minus r dominates minus i always right 
But since we cannot uh, do this with minus R effect, hence we are considering minus I. The effect of minus R will be same on this molecule and this molecule. Now we'll see minus I then. Now minus I will be more effective over here because it is more close to the hydroxy group. Since we know the minus I effect is distance dependent effect. Okay. More close, more will be the effect of minus I or plus I, whatever it is. Okay. Right. So fourth, third, minus I is more effective here. Hence, this one is the most acidic. And then second, third, fourth rank will be this. Okay. Now, in the next example, you see chlorine attached at ortho parameter position. Chlorine shows always minus I effect. Halogen group always shows minus I. It can also show plus R since chlorine has lone pair on it. Okay. Plus R it can, it can also show, but its minus I effect is more dominating. See, in all the cases, plus R or minus R dominates plus I or minus plus I or minus I always plus R or minus R plus I or minus I always this is the order we have except in case of halogens in case of halogen in case of halogen the order will be reverse minus I will be effective why? Because you see this chlorine, I'll write down here. This chlorine Cl has the lone pair present in 3p orbital and this carbon has 2p orbital. So the size of orbital is different, right? 3p is this, 2p is this. So when the size is different, the overlap is also difficult. Okay same size of orbital can overlap easily that's why the plus r nature of this is not dominating here okay so here we have minus i minus i and minus i it is distance dependent so this is more close to this this is most acidic than this one and then this one and then this. okay acidic nature is this now, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Again, we have halogen. So, obviously, we have minus I here, minus I here, minus I here, and minus I here. Okay? Why? Because in case of halogen, minus I is more dominating because of the size difference in size of the orbital, 2p and 3p. Now, you must have this question if you think this carbon is 2p orbital and this fluorine also has 2p orbital. So this, the size of the orbital is exactly same. So why not this fluorine shows plus R nature? Because this fluorine also has three lone pair on it. Why it does not show plus R nature? The reason of this is what? Because fluorine is the most electronegative element. That's why the minus I effect is more dominating. Here the case is what? The electronegativity is less, but the size of the orbital is not same. Right? Size of the orbital is different. That's why overlap is not possible. Here, size is same, but since fluorine is the most electronegative element, so its minus I effect again dominates. So basically, overall, the reason is what? Whatever the reason I said that you must keep in mind, but what you have to keep in mind, plus R or minus R always dominates plus I or minus I, in, except in one case, that is in the case of halogens. Okay? In case of halogen, we consider... We consider what I effect dominates R effect. Okay. So now we have maximum minus I here because this is the most electronegative element. So order of acidity will be 1, 2, 3, and 4 electronegativity order. Okay. So like this, we can you know compare the acidity of uh, Phenols. Okay. Two more example we'll see, which is the, um, the important example we have as far as this JE is concerned. Suppose we have to compare the acidity of these molecules.
one more example we'll see Okay, these two examples you see. Okay, so you see, NO two has minus R effect, right? It shows minus R. Here, the minus R effect of NO two is not possible, right? This minus R effect is not possible in this case. Why it is not possible? Because see here here in this two molecule cs3 and no2 and cs3 and no2 we have steric repulsion right and to minimize the steric repulsion this no2 group will change its plane and it becomes what you see here to minimize the steric repulsion this no2 will change its plane right and hence like why why it changes plane to minimize the steric repulsion okay so this change in plane of no2 to minimize the repulsion okay plane changes and when the change in plane is there that's why this no2 will not show hence does not show plus minus r effect or resonance effect simply because for resonance the molecule must be planar okay so minus r is not possible here but here the minus r is possible right minus r possible now because of minus r effect this phenoxide ion is more stable hence this molecule is more acidic than the second molecule Okay, it's a, a very good question. Important also. Now the same thing if you see here, but here we do not have a uh, steric repulsion. Why? Because this CN and this CN, all these CNs are linear group, C triple bond N. So in linear group, there is no steric repulsion. Okay, so I'll write down here. in linear molecule no repulsion because it is linear right so this group also shows this shows minus r this also shows minus r okay apart from minus r this cs3 and cs3 shows plus i and plus i here also plus i is more dominating in this case because it is closer to oh and because of plus i effect the stability of phenoxide ion decreases why because these are electron releasing effect it releases electron this is also electron releasing effect but the effect of these two group on here will be lesser than these two group on here because it is close right hence the acidic order again it is more in the case of this one right so here we are considering a steric repulsion 
because NO2 is not linear, right? But here, since C triple bond N we have, cyanide group is nothing but this, right? So it is linear group, sp hybridized, sp hybridized. Hence, we are not considering repulsion. Then minus R, minus R is same in both the molecule. Then we consider plus I of it, and hence the acidic order. Okay, so like this, they ask questions on acidic order of phenol. Okay, which is important. Apart from this, there are th three, two, three, four reactions of preparation method of phenol. We have that reactions is not that much important. But like I said, there are certain name reactions in this chapter, like rimer time reaction, uh, cumin phenol process. Okay, Claisen uh, rearrangement. Those reactions are important. So we'll see that in next session. Thank you.